How was my uh, my fanfiction character Empath Smurf created? Well, he was originally created um, for another Smurfs fanfiction series that I was developing um, prior to 1984. Um, um, it was um, supposed to be like the the Smurf version of the Star Wars saga when the Star Wars saga was only like uh, three movies long. Um, he was only intended to be a one-shot character in that series. However, um, when I started creating this series based solely upon him, I, ch I just uh, scrapped all, all that work and just um, start, started over and um, ma made him basically a um, character the main character um he he was uh, give, given the title empath the luckiest smurf um now um now empath was um empath's um behaviors and his um speech patterns were originally based on um character called Morphea. Um, she's a um, gr green alien empath um, who is from the um, comic book series Atari Force. And, um, and, and um, people that um, empath with, was raised up among um, the psyches were originally um, a separate group of people that that weren't connected to Smurfs in any way. Um, that eventually got changed um, as, as I developed the series in further. Um, the Psyche Master is, is intended to be um, the Smurf version of the Master Control Program from the Walt Disney movie Tron. Um, I mean, he basically sits in a temple controlling the psyches, um, and he um, tortures them by giving them electric shocks. Um, The series was originally um, intended to be a continuation of the Smurfs cartoon show from the 1980s. Um, uh, from the first four seasons of that series, um, ho however, um, as new seasons um, came along and new characters were um, introduced, um, I eventually decided to. Um, to set the series in a um, alternate continuity that is similar to the uh, to the um, 1980s cartoon show, but with some significant differences. I mean, the Smurflings have their own origins. The um, Baby Smurf ha has a slightly different origin, and overall, the Smur Smurfs themselves have different origins. I mean. I mean, the Smurfs were, I mean, originally um, brought to the Smurf village by Stork. Stork. Um, in my, my series, they were um, physically born. Uh, I mean, they had, they had parents. Um, however, m most of the parents, except for Papa Smurf, were killed off by by some unknown plague, and um, that basically left him with um, with about a hundred little Smurflings to take care care of um, by himself, and <sighs> mm. Empath's appellation, the luckiest Smurf, was intended to be revealed in a uh, story about his about um, the Smurfs um, 
d discovering the uh, p all of Empath's abilities, like his uh, like his um, telekinesis. Um, And but th that hasn't develop, been developed yet. Um, right now, the the only since that appellation really fits is that um, empath is the only Smurf that that has become um, Smurfette's one true love. I mean. In, in the novel, he does get married to Smurfette, um, and um, in the series, he does he not only gets married to Smurfette, he also has a child through her, a daughter, um, and. Um, Empath's friend Polaris Psyche um, was originally named Synapse Psyche. Um, he's intended to be the Spock to um, to Empath's um, Captain Kirk. Of if you want to use that analogy, I mean, the Psyches were were intended to be the Vulcans of the series, um, and. Empath basically struggles to um, str struggles with his sense of being a Smurf. I mean, he he was raised mostly among among the psyches for about 150 years of his life, and he he only learned of the Smurfs through visits with the Smurfs that usually occur like um, once every 10 years. When since he, um, he was 70 years of age, which would um, place him to be a young child. Um, and um, it's only like when he becomes 150 years old, which is the um, age of an adult Smurf, um, that he that he's finally released from Psychelia, which is the um, name of the place that. The Psyches live. Originally, it was just called the Psyche Village, and um, and and yeah, that's about all I can say about the character as of right now.